great philosopher once said, if you really want to know someone, inquire not about his successes, but inquire about his challenges. Because through them, you will know him true. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and guests, in the next few minutes, you'll begin to know me true. On June 30th, 1964, my mother went to the hospital, Mercy Hospital, for her regular pregnancy visit. And the doctor, he noticed right away that something wasn't right. I wasn't growing at the rate that they expected, and my vital signs were very weak. It was determined that I had to be born right away. I had to be born as soon as possible. A few hours later, I was born, and my mother was so happy. Have you ever known somebody that gets so happy that they begin to cry? My mother was so happy. Ooh, my, my baby boy, ooh, my baby boy. She began to cry tears of joy. And at the same time, she began to cry tears of disappointment. At the same time she was crying tears of happiness, she began to cry tears of sadness. She realized what the doctors had realized. This young man might not make it. She looked up and she asked the doctor, you ain't God. She said, is my baby going to die? Now she purposely ask the word die as opposed to live. Because when my mother was five years old, her mother passed away, my grandmother. And my grand, her grandfather passed when she was 14. So she didn't have any close family from the age of 14 on. So she was used to people close to her dying. So the doctor looked at her and he said, Miss Crenshaw, I must be honest. Your son is very weak. He was born 67 days premature. And he's going to have to endure a major procedure if he has any chance at living. <clears throat> it's going to take a miracle. Well, we have to get started right away. But, but doctor, but doctor, you ain't God. I can't make that decision because my religion doesn't allow for blood transfusion. And we have to wait till my husband gets out of school. He has to make that decision. Now, back then. They didn't have cell phones and stuff, so somebody was waiting at home for my father to come home from school to let him know what was going on. So my father gets to the hospital. He comes into the room, and the doctor says, Mr. Crenshaw, we need your signature so that we can give your son a blood transfusion. What? What? what what's, the, what's the blood transfusion? What, what's that? Well, sir, it's a procedure where we take the bad blood out of your son, and we replaced it with some good blood. Okay, okay, so where, where, do I, where do I go to get my blood taken? No, no, sir, you don't quite understand. We already have the blood here. That's not how we do it. We already have plenty of blood here that matches the son's blood type. We just need your signature so we can get started. What are you trying to say? My son is not gonna have any Crenshaw blood in him? He's not gonna have any Crenshaw blood in his veins? Well, well, do you have any black people's blood? <laughs> no, 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 sir, sir, that's, that's not how it operates. We don't categorize the blood by races. We categorize the blood by blood types, and they can use, be used for all races. I gotta think about that. Hold on. He's not gonna have any Christian blood in his veins? Maybe no black people's blood? How is he going to be tied to our rich ancestry? Can you imagine having to make that decision? Especially for a 19-year-old from Crenshaw County, Alabama, the Deep South. And given the fact that the religion doesn't allow for blood transfusions. <clears throat> Think about that. My 
father signing the paper wasn't the most significant thing that happened that day. Once again, my father signing the paper wasn't the most significant thing that happened that day. My father walked over to the incubator. He scooped me up <coughs> in the old African tradition. And he looked in and he said some words that gave me the will to live. He said, son, you can still be great. Those words continue to inspire me today, and I hope they will empower you. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, I came here today to share one of the challenging times in my life so that you will begin to know me true. But more importantly, I'll leave you with this. No matter what situations you're in today, no matter what challenges are in your way, please believe you can still be great. <laughs>